latest on July 20th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical storm Danas, whilst deep, is losing tropical characteristics today as it nears the coast of South Korea. Elsewhere, there are no named storms active in the world at the moment. 34 storms have formed so far in 2019. In the Atlantic, it's day 50 of hurricane season and there is nothing on the horizon for development anytime soon. The Eastern Pacific has Invest 98E with a 20% chance of development. What was 97E has gone off the radar, however the chances still remain pretty high at 60%. In the Western Pacific, the NAS is nearing the coast of the Korean Peninsula and 91W still exists, just about to move away from Taiwan. In the Southern Hemisphere, nothing is active at this time and uh, probably won't be for some time. Here is Danas with winds of 45 miles per hour and an estimated pressure of 984 millibars just rounding the island of Jeju right now just off the southern part of the Korean peninsula. It still has a very large wind field 53 miles from that island and will move over the uh, Korean peninsula over South Korea in the next 24 hours, probably still as a tropical storm but will quickly weaken below that threshold and then scoot off towards the northeast, turning post-tropical along the way, probably sooner than what is depicted in this graphic. Here is the wind shear graphic right now, showing you just where all of the cloud coverage is as well as the wind shear amount. Wind shear is pretty low, but the sea surface temperatures underneath that storm right now are also pretty low and decreasing, and that will really kill off Danas in the next 24 hours. Already, most of the convection is displaced to the east there, and uh, post-tropical transition is on its way. In the North Atlantic, things are looking pretty quiet. The small little disturbance there, way south of Bermuda. Uh, elsewhere, there is very little going on at all. Some very weak tropical waves pushing along in the main development region and Saharan air still dominating the Eastern Atlantic. Elsewhere, it's looking pretty quiet. Some convective activity occurring in the northern part of Florida and neighboring states pushing out over the Gulf of Mexico. The East Pacific shows 98E near the center of the image there, not looking too great. Further east, looking a lot better, um, although still not perfect, is that other system which was 97E, but at the moment has just uh, filtered off the grid. I'm not sure whether that is an error or whether it will come back as a new number entirely, but it should develop into a tropical cyclone later this coming week. In the Eastern Pacific, things are looking pretty... In the Western Pacific, sorry, things are looking pretty quiet out in the open ocean. There is a big disturbance there, however, near the Mariana Islands. The NAS just about to get to the top of our image there, and 91W, which really doesn't have much structure about it, has missed its opportunity to become a tropical storm. In the Australia and South Pacific region, not too much going on here. A few blow-ups in the uh, northernmost Solomon Islands, but elsewhere things looking pretty quiet, rain falling in Fiji. The Indian Ocean showing some monsoonal patterns still continuing, and uh, a significant blow-up there in northernmost Vietnam, which is interesting as well to note, um, some convection firing there. Sea surface temperatures across the globe right now, the Central Pacific very warm, 28 degrees or more, 30 degrees along the coast of Mexico, the Gulf of Mexico also fairly warm, but look at the Western Atlantic once again and the Gulf Stream getting up above 30 degrees in some areas now. Looking out towards the Indian Ocean, things are still um, very much the same as what they were, starting to build in a little bit of heat again, especially along the Bangladesh coast, 30 degrees plus. Also, the same too goes to the Gulf of Tonkin, 30 degrees or more, and just off Hong Kong as well in the South China Sea and out in the Philippine Sea. Those are the hotspots in the Western Pacific. Floater imagery of Tropical Storm Danas still has that movement heading towards the north and you can see how expansive that system is in the eastern and northeastern quadrants um, and massive amounts of convection moving into large parts of Japan even as well as the Korean Peninsula as a whole. It could deliver significant amounts of rainfall and widespread strong gales which will reach 40 miles per hour or more. So this July 20th, the next name on the Atlantic list is Chantal in the Eastern Pacific. We're looking out for Delilah. The Central Pacific is waiting for Arconi. In the Western Pacific, the next name will be Nari. We thought we might have had it by now, but we were waiting a little bit longer. Wifa will follow that. 
and in the North Indian Ocean, Hika is next on the list. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13 all in text, and you can send us a message on any of those platforms. That's all for now, another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.